level sustainability reporting. And we're looking at this issue through a case study for DS Origin Green Sustainability Program. Okay, so just an overview of the presentation. First, I'm going to give an introduction, a short introduction to the research project. Then um, I'm going to talk about the, the main work that we've been doing so far, which is kind of mapping the field of sector level sustainability reporting and seeing if we can develop some guidelines or a guiding framework for how you could report on sustainability for a sector. Right, so the aim of the research is to develop our understanding of sustainability reporting at a sector level. And like I said, we're doing this through a case study of Origin Green. Okay, so why is sector level sustainability reporting interesting? Well, the thing is that a lot of organizations produce sustainability reports. So a lot of single entities produce sustainability reports. And the concept of accounting and reporting tends to be single entity. But sustainability is completely different. It's a systems-based concept. So it's more suited to being applied at the level of multiple organizations, so supply chains, sectors, industries. And as I say here, to, to sort of report on the account for sustainability, um, we'll need to be thinking about it at the level of, of cumulative impacts of multiple organizations. Right, so the, the issue with reporting on sustainability at a sector level is where do, you, where do you start? How do you define a sector? So I think this graph will kind of, it kind of helps us think about the complexity of reporting at a sector level. Um, and we're, we're looking specifically, because we're looking at Origin Green, we're looking specifically at the, the agri-food sector. Uh, so this graph looks, looks at that in the center. So if you look at sort of the, the outside of the graph here, we have, we've listed the nine planetary boundaries, which these have been identified in the last few years as sort of the, the ultimate boundaries beyond which we threaten the resilience of the Earth system. So, and you can see the ones in red are the ones that we've already kind of breached, these planetary boundaries. So this is sustainability at, you know, the, the, the sort of the, the broadest global level. And then within that, you have kind of, you have frameworks for human development, like the Sustainable Development Goals, and Ireland would have specific targets for those. Um, and then within, and then you have, say, Ireland's, all our various environmental impacts, like transport and consumers and residential. And then within that, you have the food and ivory sector. And then Origin Green covers 95% of that sector. So you can see all the different types of organizations, all the different types of prod products. And what we're trying to get at here is that everything is, is interconnected. So you have all your individual farms and manufacturers and retailers, but that all sort of goes out to this, this wider level. Because when you think that the agri-food sector in Ireland accounts for 33% of our carbon emissions, so that in turn affects you know, our impact on the sustainable development goals, it affects planetary boundaries. So everything is connected. So when you think of reporting on a, on a sector level, it's very difficult. Um, so to kind of start our development of reporting guidelines at a sector level, we looked at existing reporting frameworks at all the, the levels of our previous diagram. So this is sort of how you, how you measure and account for sustainability at these various levels. And we wanted to see were there, were there any ways, any existing ways of uh, accounting for sustainability at a sectoral level. So there are lots of indicators at a global level. You have planetary boundaries, you've got ecological footprints, water footprints, uh, sustainable development goals. And some of these, you can kind of bring them down to the national level. There's been some work done on that. Um, and then if you get down to an organization level, you have the global reporting initiative reporting guidelines. You've got the ISO reporting standard. Um, and then at a product level, there's life cycle assessment tools. So there's, there's lots of tools at various levels, but what there isn't that we could find, there isn't anything in between. So there isn't anything that says, here's how you account for sustainability at the, at the level of multiple organizations, at an industry or a supply chain or a sector. So what does that mean? Um, so looking at the food and agricult agriculture sector, which is what our case study is based on, uh, we came up with, we, we searched around for reports and came up with sort of sets of indicators of what sustainability might mean for the food and agri sector. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about them. So, yeah, so these are the, the reports that we sort of found. And these all give us various measures and indicators of sustainability at 
in the food and agri sector. So I've highlighted the ones that are the most the most comprehensive. So the EPA State of the Environment Report, um, the OECD has agri environmental indicators, and the EU has just started this project where they're trying to measure organisational environmental footprint. And we took their um, they've, they've done a version for retail organisations. So these are sort of the the different ways that you could measure sustainability or report on sustainability at a sectoral level. And what we decided to do was to take all these sources and kind of put them together and try and build a framework that might tell us how to how to report on sustainability for the food and agri sector. And just to illustrate why we picked these indicators in particular, if you if you look at the, the agri-food supply chain here, so you've got farm processing, um, retail food services, consumption waste and transport all the way through. So what you would need to do if you're reporting on sustainability at this level is you would have to be you would have to be looking at indicators at all stages of the supply chain. And that's why we looked at these particular indicators because they cover these different stages of the supply chain. So for instance, the OECD agri-environmental indicators, they tell us about things like um, agricultural land use, so how much is used for organic farming, um, pesticides, uh, they have indicators for biodiversity, greenhouse gas emissions, um, and the food waste indicators tell us a bit about food loss at, at household level and agricultural waste. And then the EU's Organisation Environmental Footprint um, is really interesting because it looks at sustainability in all the, or it gives sustainability indicators at all these various sort of locations of the of the organisation's business. So in the factories, um, in the retail places, and it even goes into things like, say, if you're a big if you're a big Tesco or a or a Musgrave, it'll it'll have you know the the number of shopping bags distributed every year and what type of material the shopping bags are made of. So these are really detailed indicators. Um, and then finally, the EPA State of the Environment Report, they have a really good section on agriculture where they, they include lots of sort of broad measures of sustainability that, that companies in the agriculture industry need to be thinking about. So things like um, percentage of species under threat, uh, river pollution. Okay, so what we tried to do with, so we have all these indicators and what we've tried to do is build a framework that will tell us something about how you can report on sustainability for a sector. And what we ended up with was a massive kind of sprawling framework of 288 indicators. And you can see, obviously, it's just a tiny extract there, but it goes right down, you know, there's 117 different measures at the farm level and you go right down to sort of things like the, the employment of the sector, even down to things like in organizations, canteens, do they give vegetarian meals? So there's really, there's really minute things. And I think the main thing that the framework shows is how complex it would be to report on sustainability and account for sustainability in a sector, because you would need all of these indicators for every organization in the sector. So if it's the food and agri sector, every farm, every, every meat processing plant, you know, every, and all the consumer statistics as well, all the food waste, um, how consumers travel to and fro from all the different retailers. So it will be, and so this is every stage of supply chain, every organization. So it will be incredibly complex to account for sustainability in a sector and then to produce a sustainability report. Um, right, but one company that has produced a sustainability report, what we see as an example of sector level sustainability reporting is Ford Bia through their Origin Green initiative. So this is kind of, I mean we've looked a bit at the theory, or mostly at the theory of um, sector level reporting, but this is kind of what it's looking like in practice at the moment. So this is best practice at the moment, if you like. And the next phase in our research is to, to do a case study of Origin Green, basically. And so it's Ford B, a lot of people probably know about it already. It's their sustainability program for food and drink industry. Um, they have carbon footprint farms and they have lots of, lots of companies or Origin Green members and they have done a sustainability report for the sector. So what we want to do next is, is go in and analyse the work they've done and, um, and talk to people and see what we can learn about the challenges of sector level sustainability reporting. Um, yeah, and so the next steps in our research are getting out and talking to people and 
seeing if we can find any other examples of sustainability reporting at this kind of multiple organization level. So maybe in supply chains, um, in industries, in, in whole sectors. And, and yeah, and, and talk to people and see what we can learn about it and learn from them. So if anyone is, is interested in, sec in sustainability at the sector level, at the, in reporting on it at a supply chain level, just please come and you know, talk to me afterwards or you can, um, you can get our emails from, you can Google, our, Google us and you'll get our emails. Uh, so yeah, please let me know if you're, if you're interested and we'd love to talk to anyone. Um, so that's it, uh, if there's any questions. I've another few minutes, so. <laughs>